I have wandered alone for many years, little Misha. Yet sometimes even I grow weary of this endless solitude. I have watched the other races. I have seen their squabbling, their ruthlessness. Their wars do nothing but scar the land and drive the wild things to extinction. No, they cannot be trusted. Only beasts are above deceit. A battle? Come here, mongrels. Taste the steel of Mogren, Jax. Hold fast, stranger. You shall not stand alone. Damned cowards! Your stomach's been split open. I can do little to ease your pain. I know. This should be a good death, if not for my failure. Failure? I was to deliver a crucial report to my chieftain in the lands below. But now... I have failed him. I have lost my honor. I will deliver your message, old one. For the sake of honor, I will uphold your charge. Akamagoshoria. Thank you. Seek out the city of Orgrimmar. Find War Chief Thrall. Tell him. <sighs> May the winds bear you swiftly to your ancestors, warrior. Well, Misha, it seems we'll be seeing civilization after all. Let's get moving. A warrior city. I have not seen its like in many years. Stay close to me, Misha. Shore up those supports. When the Razor Winds kick up again, they'll tear those roofs right off. Yes, War Chief. A moment, War Chief. I come to deliver a message. How did you come by this report? Where is Mogren? He fell in the wilds. His last wish was that you receive this message. Who are you, warrior? I am Rexar, last son of the Mokhnathal. Mokhnathal? I've heard tales of your people. They had both orc and ogre blood in their veins. It is an honor. We've built this kingdom, Duratar, for all of our kind. Duratar is as much your home as it is mine, Rexar. Stay a while. Accept what hospitality we can offer. It is the least we can do. Perhaps I have spent too long in the wilds. Your offer is kind, Thrall, but I must carry my own weight. Just show me what needs doing and I'll earn my keep. <laughs> I understand. Founding a nation is tiresome work, and there are many around here that could use your help. Simply talk to them, and they will point you in the right direction. This is Rokan of the Darkspear tribe. He is one of my best scouts. How you doing, man? Ah, you're one of the Machnathal. I am Drekthar. I fought alongside your elders on Draenor many years ago. Still, if you've come to help, I do have a simple task for you. I've been concocting a special potion that will aid our warriors in battle. However, I'm missing a key ingredient. I require Shimmerweed. But the rare herb can only be found in the valley known as Thunder Ridge. Normally, I would gather the herbs myself, but the Thunder Lizards from whom the valley is named have become increasingly hostile of late. If you retrieve six bushels for me, I will reward you handsomely. Greetings, warrior. I am Nazgrul, captain of the War Chief's security force. We've been having problems with the indigenous creatures attacking our borders. 
Perhaps you can help. The Harpies of the Northern Foothills have been ransacking our supply caravans for weeks. If you can find their lair and put an end to their rampage, I'll see to it that you're rewarded. Ah, new guy, huh? I'm Gazlo, chief engineer around these parts. But enough about me. We got work to do, buddy. You see, me and my boys have been dredging out tunnels beneath the city, looking for underground wells. Problem is, we dug straight into a den of cobalts. Now those rat freaks are running willy-nilly all over our tunnels. I need you to hook up with my boys and seal those cobalts back in their hole. Yeah, just find the tunnel entrance outside of town and my boys will set you straight. Whoa, you're a big one! Gaslo City be sending some muscle! Do you goblins have a plan? Of course! If you can get us close enough to the tunnel support beams, we'll blast them to smithereens! That should collapse the ceiling on top of those rats and fix our problem up real nice! Thromkar, Rexar. The others tell me you've been a great help to them. I appreciate all you've done for us. Thromkar, Rexar. I spoke to Thrall about the humans encroaching on our lands. I, for one, don't trust them at all. I'd like you to report to our outlying watchpost and meet with my lieutenant, Garthok. I need to know if they've spotted any suspicious activity along the border. Thromkar, warrior. We haven't seen any signs of human activity, but the local quillbores have been getting bolder. There is an observatory nearby that helps us spot potential threats. You might want to check it out, but be warned, the quillbores roam the entire area. Gold Kosh, if only there was a way to root them out, we could end their threat once and for all. Now I can activate the telescope and survey the surrounding lands. Blast. It looks like the beginnings of an invasion. There's far too many of them for me to handle alone. Are you certain of what you saw, Rexar? I can't imagine that Jaina would send troops so close to our border. This does not bode well at all. Pact or no pact, I won't allow anything to jeopardize the security of our nation. I heard about the human ships, War Chief. What are your orders? I want you both to head back to that watch post and keep an eye on the humans. We can't let this situation escalate out of control. What if they're hostile, War Chief? I'd prefer that the humans remain unharmed. But if they prove hostile in any way, you have my permission to slaughter them. No. We're too late. The camp's already been razed. There are human tracks everywhere. They lead back towards the coast. The human scum will pay dearly for this. Blood for blood, life for life, Loktarogar! This anchor emblem on their shields. Have you ever seen it before? Orcs! We've been followed! To arms, men! To arms! Come, human dogs! Taste the wrath of the Horde! You did all you could, my warriors. Above all else, you kept Duratar safe. Yet this anchor sigil you described does seem oddly familiar. I just can't place it. Pardon, boss man, but if the humans be coming from the sea, my tribe on the Echo Isles could be deep in the danger, too. Don't worry, Rokan. You have my word that I won't let anything happen to your people. I have an urgent mission for you, Rexar. That human fleet poses a serious threat to the trolls that live on the Echo Isles. 
I need you to take a zeppelin to the Isles and warn the trolls about what's happening. If you can, try to convince them to join us on the mainland. There's no telling what dangers lurk on these isles. I'll have to move quickly and find the troll's village. I be Vol'jin, leader of the Darkspear tribe. It be good that the Warchief send you when he did, man. Our villages already be under attack by the human fleet. We got no time to waste. Even now, the humans' battleships be blasting away at our coastal villages. You have little chance of defeating such a force on your own, Vol'jin. You should evacuate your tribe to the mainland and unite with the War Chief's forces. Though I hate to be abandoned in our homes, your plan be a wise one. However, we got to destroy those battleships before the evacuation can begin. Oh, these wily ones will serve you well, man. Their talent for destruction be mighty. We have no flying mounts, Vol'jin. We'll be useless on land. Oh, won't be a problem, man. Now, this be feeling a bit strange. Whenever you want to get your legs back, just land in the Ritual Circle. Remember, you must destroy at least five of the human ships before we can commence with the evacuation. Well done, man. You saved my tribesmen. The outer villages be ready for the evacuation. They await only the signal to begin. In order to signal the evacuation, you gotta light the five signal braziers scattered across the islands. When you're done, the rest of me tribe will set sail for the mainland. But be careful, man. There be more dangerous foes than humans prowling the jungle. I'm glad you returned safely, Rexar. You've done well. My scouts have informed me that the Dark Spear trolls have landed further down the coast. They'll be much safer under the Horde's protection. Still, the situation with the humans has intensified. I've received word that they're sending an emissary to parley with me. We're to meet at Razor Hill around midnight. I don't know, Thrall. It sounds like a trap to me. Let me go in your place. I can't imagine that Jane of Proudmoore would ever set me up, Rexar. Even so, I'm not one to run from a fight. Just trust me. If you're right, we'll have lost nothing. This is it. The meeting place lies just beyond. Greetings, humans. It's about time you showed up. What is the meaning of this? This ogre cannot be the Orc War Chief. And you are not Jaina Proudmore. Jaina? Why would you think she would be? Ugh, enough of this drivel. We'd hope to corner your wretched War Chief, but you will have to suffice. Strike! Assassins, I knew this was a trap. Tell me who sent you, human. Was it Jaina? Foolish beast. You have no idea what's coming for you. It is only just beginning. You were right, Rexar. I should have trusted your instincts. Still, I can't believe Jaina would try something like this. Hmm, perhaps it's time we took a more direct approach. Rexar, I've written a letter to Jaina Proudmore asking her to account for all this madness. 
I want you to infiltrate her base on Theramore Isle and deliver it to her personally. You can count on me, Thrall, but I may need help bypassing the humans' defenses. I've chartered this Zeppelin to take you to the Darkspear tribe's new village. Once you get there, Vol'jin will see that you get all the help you'll need. Good luck, Rexar. The future of Duratar is in your hands.